we don't see ourselves in that way. When we're walking through the street, we have an imagination that we're freewheeling, free people. And then suddenly you have something like the pandemic or your mother goes to hospital or you have a school exam and suddenly you realize you're in a, you're actually in a bureaucracy. Hi Harriet, I'm Jana. Hi Jana. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to talk to you. Thank and you. yes, like all amazing projects that you're always part of. That the last one, I love you there. So section and now Zylo. <laughs> so, yes. Yes. What attract attract you to this project? And you're familiar with the books before? I didn't know the books before, but I wanted to read them as soon as I got the scripts because I wanted to. I think I wanted to know what happened uh, beyond the the, the 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 scope of the first season, and then I found that I was interested by playing a very big contrast. The character that I had just played before that was, yeah, it was probably Succession or some, you know, something very different. And so I'm always attracted to play something that is out of my normal range. Um, and this certainly was different from anything I'd ever done. Yes, yes, it was. And you're great oh, uh, playing Martha and this engineer, this, she's, she's amazing. I think she's amazing. She's an amazing character. How was like the preparation to play her? And how is this engineer part? Did you? Did you have to learn anything? <laughs> well, actually, um, I don't want to give away too much, but if you think about what I'm actually doing, I don't really do a lot of engineering on camera. I mean, oh. it looks like I'm fiddling with something or I'm turning a screw or I'm soldering a little bit of wire or, you know, it, I don't have to do a huge piece of engineering on camera. And most of that work is prepared for you. It's almost like if you did a cookery program and they already have it in the oven, and <laughs> you just have to pretend you just made it, you know. So from that point of view, it was much easier than it looks. On the other hand, I'm not very confident with props. You know, I always get a bit nervous that I'm going to drop something or screw something up or take too long over something. Or... So it was quite a challenge, but it was also very helpful because this character who doesn't want to look outside, it can look here and get very involved in this right up close to their nose because the, the rest of the world is too scary for her. And um, that was quite useful as a preparation. Yes, yes. And also like this, the series talks about like this 10,000 people in this container. I don't know exactly. <laughs> how to say yes. that. And we can do a parallel of our, like some of the societies that we have right now. What do you think about that? Well, yeah, I mean, we can all relate to this. Even, you know, I think the idea that we don't see ourselves in that way when we're walking through the street we have an imagination that we're freewheeling free people and then suddenly you have something like the pandemic or your mother goes to hospital or you have a school exam and suddenly you realize you're in a you're actually in a bureaucracy you know we, we're living some kind of life within a bureaucracy that somebody else has made the rules and we don't even notice that we're part of it uh, until some crisis happens. And then you have to say, well, what do I think about this, these rules? And what do I just turn my, my uh, do I turn a blind eye and get on with life just to have a quiet time? Or do I, it does some crisis stimulate you to look beyond that and try and find out what's actually going on. Somebody is, somebody's taking advantage of us somewhere. Something's not right, you know? And um, I think we can relate to that, you know? Uh, and in drama, obviously you can make something much more, I won't say simple, but it's more easy to see in its completeness. You can step outside and look in and see something that you can't with your own life. Your own life, you're kind of in the middle of it and you can't really see, actually, I'm in a silo. You know? <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. And 
That's amazing. Harriet, this the time that I have with you. I just want to thank you so much for your time. A lot of success always. You are amazing. Thank you thank so you. much. <laughs> thank you very much. Bye-bye. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.